Comet Space Jam 2, you know, for this generation, re it reintroduces to re to children of today, you know, these great Warner Brothers characters that I grew up on, uh, that you know my my parents grew up on, um, that are just fun, funny characters, and everybody loves you know physical comedy from the time that we are little children, you know, until adults. I definitely was a fan of, of the original Space Jam. Um, my, my memory of it was, you know, going to see it, listening to the soundtrack, you know, getting it on VHS and, and, and watching it over and over. Um, you know, I was a, a, a kid that, you know, was was at that age for for, for the real the real peak of, of, of Looney Tunes. Them, you know, like the the, the early mid '90s, and I mean, where it was cool to, you know, everybody had their favorite Looney Tune character. You would wear Looney, wear Looney Tunes on your clothes, and I was also also still hooping at that time. You know, back in Oakland, so so the, so the film kind of combined, you know, you know, quite a few things that that had, you know, a lot of value for us coming up. So it was a film that we loved, and that, and that, and that soundtrack was just so great that, you know, when you were watching the movie, you were listening to this. Uh, the physical comedy that the Looney Tune characters provide uh, is classic. Um, it always works, and they're great characters, you know, in and of themselves. I mean, Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck and. Uh, Yosemite Sam and Foghorn Leghorn. I mean, these are all these like you know great iconic characters, and mix them with the you know arguably the, one of the greatest players to ever play the, the game of basketball, and LeBron James, is a great way to you know bring it into the modern era. And uh, what I like about this story is that yeah, I mean the first one was Space Jam, but this is not. This is more than Space Jam. This is like Cyberspace Jam. You know, because these are, you know, we're, you know, we're such in a, in, a, in a era where, you know, everything is digital and electronic and, and on the web and, you know, and, vi and, and about video games and virtual reality. And so, you know, our characters, LeBron James and his son, are going into a video game. Um, and so, like, that's a great way to reintroduce the Looney Tunes and to bring it to the modern era with... The, you know, one, arguably one of the greatest basketball players that I've ever, ever played in LeBron James. So our, our film Space Jam is about LeBron James, the basketball player, but, but not so much the basketball player and even more so LeBron James, the family man. And we'll be kind of following his relationship with his family, but really focusing on his son, Dom, who's his middle son, and is a little more interested in video game design than he is in, in basketball, which is his dad's, his dad's career and kind of makes his whole life. No, I think it's one of the most ingenious parts of the script. You know, is that, you know, it's you know, it's very self-aware, and which is cool because it's like it knows it's self-aware um, with all the um, Warner Brothers properties that are in there. So we've got you know the Justice League uh, world that he falls through, Lego and Wizard of Oz uh, and Game of Thrones and Casablanca, and I think that you know it's it's a reminder of the, you know, that this is a studio that's had a very long history of making movies and entertainment. Um, and it's a great callback to all those great um, pictures um, and films of, 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 of back in the day, and franchises back in the day. So, you know, not only do we get, he does the LeBron fall through all those worlds to get to, you know, the Looney uh, Tune world, but those characters from those worlds show up at the basketball game. It, I think this is gonna be one of the coolest movies people are ever gonna see. You know, it's gonna be great sports in it. Uh, a great father-son story, a great family story. Heartfelt, fun, things that they haven't seen on a basketball court or in a Looney Tunes movie combined sports and action and um, heart and humor. I hope you enjoyed some behind the scenes from Space Jam New Legacy here on Greenlight. And it's one of the first ones we're doing here. So I'm very, very excited about this one because I too am a big fan of the original film and including the soundtrack because the soundtrack's a big way to open up your film further than just the film and give it a big world scope that uh, a lot of people don't even really expect a lot in these movies. But what's great about these um, behind the scenes things is I'm going to be talking about more of these kinds of things. So stay tuned with that here. Let me know down below in the comments down below. What is your favorite soundtrack to a movie? You know, other than Space Jam. I loved Space Jam and even the new legacy Space Jam has a great, great slew of artists on there. I saw uh, uh, 
uh, I think it was SZA or um, no, it was uh, uh, then I, Lil Uzi Vert uh, has a song and he has a good rendition of a song that was on the original album. That's really, really good. So I highly recommend that. So please go hit the notification bell and uh, make sure you comment down below and let me know uh, what your favorite uh, soundtrack is other than uh, Space Jam. Mine is actually Men in Black. I don't know if you guys even know that, the original, the first one. Uh, I have a song in there uh, that I like, it's uh, Snoop Dogg. So let me know yours and I'll see you here later on the next video.